where Jimmy and Lisa would find us camping. Today, you found us at the Outer Banks West KOA. This KOA is actually one of the newer KOAs in, I guess, in their system. Um, and we heard about it at one of the shows yeah, and we decided to come visit and check it out. So, honestly, we're kind of glad we did. We went ahead and splurged and got one of the back end sites uh, right waterfront. against the water. It's more than we normally like to splurge because I don't know if you've seen some of our videos before. I'm Somebody cheap. tries to keep the prices down. This one was about 108, 100 and... It was about $100 a night for back end, waterfront. And with the toy hauler, that splurge is worth it sometimes because you can put the deck down and just take in the view. <laughs> so we actually last night slept in the back of our toy hauler, which we don't normally do. And we watched the sunrise. Uh, from our bed this From morning. our bed. We never got out the bed. We had the deck down, had the doors shut, and we just watched the sunrise come up and just relaxed and had a great time. So I think the splurge for the $100 was nice. You know, cheapskate over here is not going to do this often. So I guess while no. we have a chance, we better get it. So. But we want to go over a couple of the sites and a couple of the amenities they have here and um, then we'll yeah we'll start with the site let's start with the sites we'll talk about site types and then we well, like our about site type we just told you yeah, our site was actually a back-end site right up against the water uh, they do have a couple pull through sites they're not many but they're not waterfront of course because you have to pull through so and they have some back-end sites that aren't waterfront for the typical cheapskate. Um, it's still a little more over your budget though. Well, you know, you are here on the water and I think I'd probably splurge if we came again just to get one of the waterfront sites because I like the view. Well, some of the back end sites come with their own little patio and their own, they actually have a... Like uh, a deck with the, they whatever the plastic that hard chairs. plastic They actually have a, a, a nice fire ring, like with the brick fire rings on them uh, and they have a fire uh, uh, grill, grill type of thing where you grill, can, or, no, it was no, a gas, it was charcoal grill. grill, wood grill, whatever you want to use to do them. So, our site though is back in waterfront, comes with a picnic table and a fire pit. I'm gonna so call, you, I'm gonna call it a basic that. back in waterfront, right? Um, you have all your amenities. I think years. all of the sites, whether they're the ones with the patio or the, the deck, are not, they're all gravel where you park, but they're level. Um, they're level. and then the sites are grass like this. And then for those of you who maybe are trying to get away and not bring the RV or you don't have an RV, they have... Or you're just trying to get away from the kids for the weekend. I mean, you know, it could be that too. <laughs> they have... All of these are waterfront. They have cabins that you can rent. That are waterfront. They're all right, waterfront. Right, they're all waterfront. And then they also have some waterfront, some not. You can rent a camper. So they have RVs that they have on site on, on some spots. So you could rent that as well. And of course, for those of you... Who real are campers. real campers, not They us. have tent sites. Not this girl, but... I not mean, this weekend anyway, because this weekend was brutal. Hot. It was humid, hot, nasty, just... And they can't help that. It's just It's, it's just, just nasty, is what so. it is, and it's on the water, so what do you... You know, you don't want it to be cold. Um, there are a lot of things to do here on the water, whether you... Like, we bring our kayaks with us if we know we're coming to the water. If so you want to... If you feel like swimming, a lot of water out there. Yeah, this is the sound. This is the Curry Tuck, Curry -tuck sound. sound. It's between us and the land out there is that duck, duck corolla. corolla, corolla. If you want to see wild horses, that's, that's the area, area to see them. They're beautiful. I think somebody went on a tour the other day and they said it was 120 wild horses left. It was $50 left. a people, first like 50 bucks yeah. a person and they, they sold, yeah. So there was only There's like not many 50 left. of the horses so left. So if you want to come so. see that, you better come out here and camp here and drive over there. I think it was only like a 40 minute drive for them to camp over there. So. Um, if you're wanting to come to Nags Head, you come to Outer Banks, you come to Kitty Hawk. This but is, you don't want to go to the commercial yeah, area. This, this is, is 45 kind of minutes to an hour away. Um, you know, enjoy the water instead of all the commercial things that there are to do down in that area. Um, they have five piers here, so you can fish or crab off of those piers. Um, probably going to need a fishing license if you're going to fish. But they do have a fishing pond over near the tent section that has a walking path around it and there's a like a nature trail through the and woods the from the around. pond down to the tent section um 
So if you can do that. If you're wanting to do, if you did you bring your kids because you, you know, you came with your camper instead of the cabins, whatever, if you brought your kids. There is an area in the middle that has the big playground for the kids that can play out in the playground. Has if the they big... like the cornhole, you know, not there yet. If uh -huh. they have the cornhole, uh, if you want to play cornhole, they have, I think, like six, six, or eight. six cornhole boards set up. And if you want to be the big kid or the little kid and have fun, there is that big jumping POA that most KOAs and Jelly Stones and all them have. It's the big air mattress and you just jump on them. Somebody was afraid to jump on it this time because she might got a little wet. It poured and um, a friend of ours got on it and she was soaked. And I didn't have on a bathing suit. I had on my clothes and I wasn't trying to get soaked. So, so we don't have a video of her jumping no on No footage it, so. of me jumping on the pillow. <laughs> um, but they also have... Like everything is in that kind of centrally located. So the jumping pill, the playground, the cornhole. Uh, they have a volleyball court over there. We were told that they are working to get a swimming pool here, but they're battling out, or I shouldn't say that, they're working out the details permit wise and such with the county. You so know how it is whenever you build something new and you have county rules, they have to. Hopefully you know, next get to time the they'll have a pool. But if not, you can still swim here in the sound if you're wanting to get in the water. They. And we brought our kayaks, but if you don't have a kayak, but you wanted to participate in those type of water activities, they do rent by the hour, paddle boards, kayaks. They had some of like the larger inflatables, like the big unicorn pillow and you know, things I like that. I wasn't getting on a unicorn pillow. Yeah, but you can, you can rent those by the hour. Um, something else they have for rent, I guess this is by the day and it's not for use in the water is golf carts so if you don't have a golf cart and you want i hope one, you don't get your golf cart in the water you could run a golf cart because i think you're going to buy that golf cart more than run it all of those activities and all of those things are kind of in the center and that's where the camp store is so they have of course t-shirts hoodies sunscreen sunglasses that kind of thing bacon they have and eggs gourmet dog treats they look like cookies and did you try in the one? little case i did not try one but they you looked, said they were gourmet they looked really that's what the sign said they looked really pretty um and then they have a small like restaurant snack bar i'm not sure what you would call it they had hershey's ice cream did and you get a hershey's ice cream? i did get a hershey's oh, ice cream the lemon sorbet is so yummy and you had ice cream too mm. something about candy bar overload or something I don't know. um they also have like hot dogs nachos pizza that kind of thing and then right outside that building they have picnic tables with the umbrellas so since there's not a lot of shade when you're at the beach, I mean, we're under this little mimosa tree, but pretty much there's not a lot of shade. So you could sit there and enjoy a snack or an ice cream. You're not going to, today you weren't going to enjoy your ice cream outside. There's a spider on Because you. the ice cream was melting as fast as you as fast could as eat you them. Could, so. yeah. um, but inside that store, off the store, there's another building, in, I guess the same building, but it's just through a door. Building. If you're having a meetup or you're having a get together, you're having a family reunion or whatever it is, they do rent that little section out also i don't know we don't know what the cost of it is but they do no. rent it and on the end of that once again if you brought your kids or you have some big kids with you there is the game room the arcade there if you want to play games so i was hoping to see a pinball machine so i can no pinball you know, everything's electronic yeah no money there so then outside of that building there's another small building that has laundry so they have the washers and dryers they are coin operated i think it was 250 a load whether you're washing or drying and for, I don't know that it's a bathhouse, but four separate unisex showers. Well, but a, it essentially was a bathroom. It was like a, your own little personal bathroom it has shower its own like toilet, you were at home. It has its own toilet, it has its own sink, and it has its own shower in there, and you lock the door. So it's yours. And we've been noticing lately, we don't we don't use those because we, we're self-contained. We have our own in here. But doing these videos, we have noticed we're starting to see a lot more of those in private rooms. showers, yeah. private rooms. So... I know a lot of people don't like to go in there and shower with just this little curtain, but this actually has a door in it and you lock it you and you shut it, it and it's yours. So it's all you. I think that's kind of neat for some of the people that don't want to, don't want some privacy when they're yeah. taking a shower or going in the bathroom. So, but all in all, we really like this campground and I think we're going to come back because this isn't too far from our home base and it's near the beach. So, um, we did the, a wine tasting. The winery was like 25 minutes away, so that's not bad. And there's a nice little restaurant right down the road. I got the, the peel and eat shrimp, or the, I guess they already peeled. I got the shrimp. What was that place called? Yeah, Coin Jack Marina Coin Jack is Marina. right here. Yep. They were like pretty five good. five minutes. Um, so, yeah, like yeah. not a lot of commercial things to do, like, you know, stores and 
like putt putt that kind of thing. Uh, one of thing like we that. have to remind you if you come here, first of all, if you do come here, let them know you saw our video. So we talk to the managers and everybody that we're here and we tell them we're doing videos that way they know when we're walking around with a camera and know what's going on. So right. if you can, at least tell them you you saw this video on our you know Find Us Camp and uh, YouTube channel. And also the speed limit is 25. 25. And they do set radar up and down through there, and it's a long, pretty long drive, and it's kind of hard to do 25 because it's... It's a narrow road, though, so with your camper, it'll probably be easy to do. And it says 25, and it says strictly enforced. Like this weekend, I know they're doing... They're, they said they're getting ready to they're do some up out there. roadblocks for, mm -hmm. for stuff to check. So do 25 down the road, whatever you do. So Or you'll be supporting a local town. You know, whatever, but that's a really bad way to I'd start I'd rather support your... it at the restaurants or some of the stores or something, not the, not the local police department. So. It's a bad way to start your vacation or end it with a speeding ticket. So, 25. <laughs> so, hopefully you're liking these campground tours. And if you are, make sure you give us those thumbs up. Ring the bell. Hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. It's right down here somewhere, or wherever here. it is. Make sure you hit it, because <laughs> if you don't hit that subscribe button, you don't hit that bell, you're not gonna know when we release the next video. We will only release them on Tuesdays and Sundays, but you never know, we might release one a little bit earlier, and the only way you're gonna know is if you ring that bell. So ring that bell, make sure you hit that subscribe button, let all your friends know, and if somebody's coming down to the Outer Banks, share this video with them. Let them know that we did this video so they can see this video, and maybe they can come to this Check campground too. Check out the campground too, so. for themselves. And we are actually here because we met another set of campers, so that's why we always say the next time you find us camping. Because this time we found Cruising with the Colmans. So if you haven't checked out their channel, be sure to do that. And like we say at the end all the time. Until the next time. You find us camping. Safe travel.